Hi ladies, welcome to this lecture on cash flow statements. Um, I would be explaining the solution to question number two, uh, which is on Dorado Corporation. You can see that the balance sheet for Dorado Corporation is uh, given here. The assets, cash, account receivables, inventory, equipment, accumulated depreciation and total assets, followed by the liabilities and shareholders' equity. And then you have been provided with the income statement, which gives a net income which we are going to be using for the cash flow statements. In the cash flow statements, the first heading is the cash flow from operating activities. You start with the net income which you bring forward from the income statement which is 54,400 and now you adjust the non-operating activities to the net income. You begin with depreciation which you bring from the income statement and depreciation is a non-operating expense so we add it back to the net income to get the cash flow from operating activities. Now you look for the increase and decrease in current assets but before that Look for any gain or loss on sale of non-current assets, that is fixed assets. Well, there is no um, gain or loss on sale of asset which has been recorded in the income statement. So, then we can move on to the increased and decrease in the current assets or current liabilities. Let's start with accounts receivables. As you can see in 2013, the accounts receivables was 14,000 and in 2014 it has increased by 2,000 to 16,000 dollars. So there is an increase in accounts receivable which has to be deducted. Let's look at the inventory. The inventory was 115,000. And you can see that it has decreased to 107,000. So decrease in accounts receivable is increase in cash flow. Now let's take a look at the current liability. Okay, so there is no current liability in the balance sheet. So we proceed to make the adjustments for current assets in the cash flow statement. So, decrease um, in inventory will be added while increase in accounts receivable will be deducted as it decreases the cash flow. So, 14,000 plus 8,000 minus 2,000 gives us 20,600. You add 20,600 with the net income 54,400 and your cash flow provided by the operating activities is 75,000. It's a positive figure. Therefore, it is cash flows provided by operating activities. The next heading is cash flow from investing activities. Under this heading, we look for any purchase or sale of fixed assets. So, we, we look at the balance sheet to get this information. Let's look at the equipment. Equipment in 2013 was 78,000 and in 2014 it is 98,000. We have not been given any information about the sale of equipment. The additional, only additional information which has been provided to you is equipment was purchased for cash and dividends have been paid which means there has only been purchase of equipment so as you can see the equipment has increased by 20,000 it was 78,000 in 2013 and it is 98,000 in 2014 
therefore increase or purchase of equipment is decrease in cash flow we will deduct this amount in the cash flow from investing activity you put it as a negative figure which is in bracket because it decreases cash flow and your cash flows used by investing activity is a minus 20000 that's it just one item then we proceed to the third head uh, category of uh, cash flow which is the cash flow from financing activities for cash flow from financing activities we look at any issue of shares or any issue of bonds or long term liability common shares was 120000 in 2013 and it remains 120000 in 2014 there is no other long term liability now let's look at the retained earnings because we have to find the payment of dividend now let's take a look into the calculation of payment of dividend for this we always start with the beginning balance of retained earning which means the retained earning balance in 2013 as you can see it was 86,300 so this is the working on the payment of dividend beginning balance of retained earnings for 2013 86,800 to this add the net income net income shown by the income statement is 54,400 we add this and we get 141,200 and from here you will deduct the ending balance of retained earnings which is the retained earnings in 2014 which is 81,200 this gives us the amount of the dividend paid which is 60,000 so as you can see I will repeat this calculation beginning balance of retained earnings that is the retained earnings of 2013 added with net income 54,400 gives us 141,200 from this amount we will deduct the ending balance of retained earnings which is in 2014 81,200 and that helps us to arrive at the dividends paid in the year 2014 which is 60,000 dividends paid will decrease the cash flow and this is a financing activity hence in the cash flow statement we record the payment of dividend as minus 60,000 so cash flows used by the financing activity is 60,000 once you get the cash flow from all three activities cash flow provided by operating activity operating activity i'm sorry 75000 cash flows used by investing activities minus 20000 and cash flows used by financing activities minus 60000 so 75000 minus 20000 minus 60000 gives us minus 5000 because the answer is in minus this is net decrease in cash to the net decrease in cash you will now add the cash balance at the beginning of the year which means the cash balance of 2013 which you will get from the balance sheet 31,000 so 5,000 net decrease in cash which is minus 5,000 plus 31,000 gives us the ending cash balance of 26,000 which must match with the cash balance given in the balance sheet for 2014 26,000 so that's how we arrive at the ending cash balance for Dorado company by preparing a cash flow statements I will now take you through the solution for question 3 that is clear water company so here also they have given you the balance sheet for 2004 2005 and the income statement as we did the cash flow statement for the previous question here also we, we do the 
cash flow statement under three headings. But before that, always make it a point to write the name of the company and the statement that you are preparing followed by the date. So let's begin with cash flow from operating activities. You begin with the net income which you bring forward from the income statement, 59,000 as you can see here. And then you look for the non-operating expenses, the first of which is depreciation expense, 15,000. We will add this back to the net income, so add depreciation, 15,000. Now you look for any non-operating gain or loss on the sale of non-current assets. In the additional information, they have given us that equipment costing 37,500 was, was sold for cash proceeds. So let's look into the income statement whether there is, has been a gain or a loss on sale. Yes, there has been a loss on sale of equipment of 4,100 which was deducted from the gross profit to arrive at the net income and since this is a non-operating loss, so we add it back to the net income to get the cash flow statement. So as you can see here, add loss on sale 4,100. Having done the depreciation adjustment and the loss on sale, we now proceed to make the adjustments for current assets and current liabilities under the heading cash from operating activities. Let's look at the first, uh, first uh, current assets to be adjusted, which is accounts receivable. It was 39,700 in 2004, which is now 52. So it has increased. Increase in current assets results in decrease in cash. So therefore this has to be deducted. Inventory was 202,000 which increased to 219,000 also will be deducted in the cash flow statement under the heading cash from operating activities. Prepaid expenses has decreased from 5,000 in 2004 to 4,300. This decrease in prepaid expenses will be added because it increases the cash flow. So let's look at the cash flow statement for the adjustment in current assets. Increase in accounts receivable to be deducted, increase in inventory to be deducted, but decrease in prepaid expenses to be added. Now we will look at the current liabilities to see whether there has been an increase or decrease. Under liabilities, the current liability which is account payable was 93,300 in 2004 and it is seven. it has increased to 70,500 in 2005. For current liabilities, an increase in current liability results in increase in cash flow. So this would be added in the cash flow statements. There is no other current liability, so we make this adjustment in the cash flow statement. Decrease in account, uh, I'm sorry, there has been a, a decrease in account payable. So a decrease in account payable results in decrease in cash flow, hence this will be deducted in the cash flow statement because it's a, a it's a decrease in cash flow, decrease in accounts payable, minus 22,800. Once we are done with all the adjustments under the heading cash from operating activities, we will add 15,000 with 4,100, minus 12,300, minus 17,000, plus 700, minus 22,800. That gives us minus 32,300. So the net income that is 59,000 minus 32,300 gives us 26,700. Since this is a positive figure, therefore, this is called cash flows provided by operating activities. The next heading is cash flow from investing activities. 